What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lil Sis Reacts. I'm the Big Bro. This is the Lil Sis for today, Rainy. And today we are on Sons of Anarchy Season 4, Episode 14, To Be Act 2. <sighs> so, Rainy, last we left off, uh, Jack's got to go make this deal with the IRA and um, Galindo, the cartel. And they, the, uh, the dang Rico folks, the dang police watching them. They finna try to arrest whoever go there. So Jax is the, basically the one to take the fall when Clay need to. But Clay in the hospital because he got shot. Uh, Tara gave him... Why you ain't looking at me when I'm talking to you, girl? That's rude. I thought you manless. Now, Tara done gave Jax a serum to put in his IV. So he just died quickly. Your leg is getting tired? You just tired in general. This is rude. I thought you proper etiquette. Now, I don't know who gonna get Clay. How it's going to get done. Gemma looking like this ain't going according to my plan. But Tara said, get done so we can get out. And, um, yeah. That's it. Randy got attitude. Now she leaving. Wow. I guess it's just a big bro today. Um, Opie's still in the wind. But everybody getting scattered. They still looking for Bobby and Juice. They getting worried. I don't know. Um, Galindo saying Otto wasn't the one that uh, snitched. But we know better than that. So Jax don't know what to think. Um, I mean, Jax is smart. But he's the smartest person on the show as far, well, yeah. He's the smartest character on the show that I can think of at the top of my head right now. So he usually finds a way out of these situations, but this one looks bad. So I'm ready to get into this finale and see what they got. Four and early reactions are available on Patreon, y'all. In the last 16 months, this case has taken 98,000 man hours in four different countries. Jeez. Recently, it claimed the life of our colleague, FBI agent Ronald Worski. Our sacrifices and hard work allow us this moment to bring three violent and criminal organizations to justice. Ladies and gentlemen, you believe in what he doing? we are clear to execute all wives. I mean, you're not wrong. It's just the way he went about it was Never dirty. Or Whomever you believe in. But y'all know I don't like the Irish. This whole trafficking babies and Great all that. They, they can go down. Cartel too. I don't care about none of that. But the sons. Just take Clay. He wants to call it even. But I really want him to die. But if somebody gotta go. <laughs> somebody gotta go down for it. Let it be Clay. You know what I mean? Like neither fate is very ideal for him. And then he'll be in there with Otto. I talked to Teller. MC's on board. Irish will be there. Transport's all set. All right, let's go. We don't want to be late. Where did I see him before? I know we've seen him somewhere. It had to have been early on in the show, but I can't remember, y'all. But his face looked real familiar. And I remember him being with the cartel. Got one of each big gun in the back of the van. <laughs> Take a walk, all right? Okay, so pull back, make sure they don't spot him. Where's the rest of them? Next to the show. Sure. This is not good. Oh my God. Whoa. What the hell are they doing there? Alphonse Medina, Operative Supervisor, Central Intelligence Agency. You Lincoln Potter, the USA? Let me guess. We recruited Sino Parada and Torres from Grupo Aeromobile. You talking private? No. If the three amigos have something to say, say it to my team. Yes. We've been working with the CIA. NCS. Inside Sonora. So what does this mean for Rico? It means our government is backing one cartel to overthrow the others. Because if you control the drugs, you control the politics. It's how we stabilize an important ally. Oh, yes, that too. We're shutting down your RICO operation. Jesus Christ. Just deal with the sons of the Irish. That's a good thing. It's all right there. The department has signed off. Ah. Uh -uh. You better brief your team. They're going to need to turn over all the files and contacts. He's defeated. I never seen this coming. Right into this world. I don't know what to think. All alone. That was a complete curveball. That takes your soul. And a plot twist. 
Okay. Nobody goes to jail today. But long term, that ain't good. But it's good for now, I guess. Very interesting. So this dude been doing all this for nothing. And the CIA like, you gotta die. After all this time. Wow, I know that man is sick. That makes sense on why Galindo lied about um, Otto being the mole because he needs this deal to go through no matter what. Clay got shot. That makes so much sense. What happened? I'm not sure yet. They hit him at the garage. Had nothing to do with this. There's been a problem between an Oakland and this black thing. So you're not in love? Yeah. Yeah, he pulled two doors to bed. No, yeah. This is Romeo Parada. Jose, pleasure to meet you. My associate, Luis Torres. What about you, sir? They play. It's hard to say right some now. Fucking We're up to speed on schedules and routes. Like, so I'll be able to talk you through everything. But they did so much killing. Like I don't no, understand won't. how this makes sense. I made it very clear to clear. The only way this deal happens is if he's running it. Like they were shooting people. Like I watched them kill people. Galen, we run things as a club. This is insane. We can make this work without Clay. <laughs> it's not just about making it work. It's about trust. I have little in you. And less in them. When Claire's back at the table, we can discuss the deal. Until then, there is none. Interesting. Yeah, but that, that's something I need to explain because I watched. Make it worse. He's stubborn bastards. What you hear? Lewis and all them shoot people in the head. Like, there's no way you're CIA just killing people. Like, that's crazy. I mean, granted, they're not good people, but. We have to talk. And I know they deepen their roles, but there's no way that the CIA is just yeah. like, yeah, kill who you need to kill. You're good. You're pardoned for everything. Like, Huh? That's kind of crazy. And then they be doing torture and all that type of stuff. I don't understand how they can work for a government and do this type of thing. Maybe there's an exception I don't know about. Obviously, don't work for a government entity like that. So I wouldn't know, but that's insane that such a thing can happen. It goes down as quickly as it goes up. So that's it. And so Jax can't kill Clay because he's dealing with the Joker because he needs a cartel off so back. Into the goddamn cartel. Great, so Clay gets For the spared. greater good. About the smaller good. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just putting it out yeah, again. I'm probably talking shit too much. In my county. My mind is just spiraling right now. I did not see that coming. What is this for? I thought you might want to be the one to release him. I had the DEA raid his weed shop, tell the workers that they picked up the owners. He was in the cover story for the last 24 hours. I've uh, stricken Juice's colored past from the record. He's, he's free and clear. Oh, you're making it right. Why would you do that? Because the bad guys won today, Sheriff. And they may not know it yet, but Juice and the MC are on the losing end, just like us. Mm. I have tremendous respect for you, Eli. Yeah, can't say the same. You played dirty and lost. That's insane. You're a really odd dude, man. You know that's really hard to get past, right? I do. But it serves a purpose. I don't really like people all that much. We can tell. We will, sir. But he, his mind is insane. Yeah. I can tell you that much. He's very smart. Me too. So we got a small victory today, but is it setting us up for a bigger loss later? Like, and because of the way this man looks, like I don't like to judge people like that, but like the way this man looks, he really could be a cartel member. Like that's the way he looked. Like he's so serious. Like Look, he looked like he stands I'm on sorry. business. And this guy playing hell of a part. We can pull this they off. They scared shit out of me, and they see I. This is insane. The truth is, we're in over our heads. Or associates. I know CIA Clay whatever. thought we could make this work, but we can't. We're not drug mealers, big arms dealers. We're small time men. We can't do this anymore. I'm afraid we're at cross purposes, Mr. Keller. We ain't gonna let them out. Shit. Okay, so we were revealing everything. Oh, shit. I hope Delaney did something well. The U.S. attorney was going to crush this meet with Rico. We stopped him because we need this relationship to continue. CIA is subsidizing Galindo. We need the money from the coke and the Irish guns to do that. You just heard O'Shea. He won't deal with me. Then you better make sure Clay gets well soon. Because if you don't, we'll give Rico the green light. Damn. Do the feds have Bobby and Juice? Just Munson. That's who Delaney gave up to establish history. U.S. Attorney has more than enough to indict. When leaves are running smoothly with the Irish, 
I'll do my best to get Munson clear of all the charges. Look, whoever replaces Clay might not want this. Sam Crow could vote the cartel down. It's not gonna happen, because you will be taking the reins. And all this is between us. If anyone else finds out, club, your family, we'll crush your MC. Tara is gonna be Did you know that Clay pissed. wanted my old lady dead? They did. Were you the ones he hired? How? Right, so how can y'all do all those things, yet? He thought she knew too much about our business. We wouldn't have heard her. You did. Maybe that's why they tried to hire her. We were gonna debrief her. Keep her in protective custody. That makes sense. But do y'all get fucking hand up? What we've got to ask, is she a threat? He can handle her. We ain't telling y'all shit else. No. And why did Clay want her dead? It's a family problem. What you're thinking? What's your feeling? Buried, son. Because if Clay goes away, so do you and all your brothers. This is bullshit. We'll be in touch. It's bullshit, but this is actually not that bad. It is bad, but it ain't that bad. Let me pause this, because I just, my head is just spiraling, y'all. Like, I just got to process a boatload of information. It's good because the Rico was a for sure thing. They were going down. But, problem with that, the con. We have to make Clay live. Like, he has to survive. We can't kill him now. Okay, whatever. They're not really cartel. So, boom, that's good. We ain't got to worry about getting murked because they got to do things by the book and Tar's life was never in danger. They were going to debrief her, but they did accidentally mess her up. But I can understand how something like that could happen in the chaos. And that makes sense why the guy pulled the um, submachine gun up, but didn't actually shoot at Jackson Tara. But they made it look good. So that all makes sense. And then and why he lied about Otto. Okay. So I, now I can see how they've written around things that, that makes some sense. But I still swear, and maybe I'm just misremembering, but they certainly were killing people. Like like I said, granted, these are all um, gang members and, you know, criminals, but it's just like, and, or maybe I'm just misremembering. I don't know, but I swear I just, I watched them two shoot people in the head before. Like, no hesitation, just boop, boop, boop. But maybe because they're so deep in cover and this is so serious, they have authorization to do that. That's the only way that can make sense to me. And because it's not like they're innocent civilians. Um, you know what I mean? And plus, you can argue that they would have killed him. I mean, you know what I mean? And given some of the circumstances, yeah, they were shooting at y'all. So I guess technically within the parameter of, of the law, they would be authorized to kill them. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make this make sense, y'all, because this is it makes sense. Now that I'm working it through my head, I because of course I'm not gonna think of no bullshit like this. Like I don't want to call it bullshit because it's actually pretty smart. Uh, a hell of a plot twist. I just my mind would have never even crossed that because they look so serious. They're so deep into their roles. It's insane. Um, Khan also Jax has to stay and do what Jitma wants, which and what they want is which is to be head of the MC to make sure that this cartel thing doesn't get voted out. Um, but then which means he has to kind of do what Clay does, which is ignore everybody's votes and their voices and still do what they want to do while trying to lie and uh, try to lie and explain to them like we're not giving this up, we got to keep going and you know what I mean like and they're gonna not understand. Then he got to explain to Tara without telling her as well. Like, no, we're not going. I got to stay. No, we're not killing Clay. Like, all of that. Trying to explain all of this to these people while lying is insane. Given the established relationship with everybody. Like, lying only ever makes things worse. And people all, they're just a bunch of alpha males that all go and do what they want to do. Yeah, this is not... There's pros and cons to everything. Because with Rico, everything was, it was done. Everybody going down. With this, we have a chance, but it's like, ugh, it's like a bunch of problems. A lot more problems than we are. We already got like 10 open issues right now. But Juice also gets out. Munson will probably get out eventually. Um, 
Clay got a lid, which is a con. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, they got to keep the show going, right? Everybody can't go to jail. All right, that's all, y'all. Process, let's go. Dear Daddy, I don't know what the fuck to do. This is crazy. I hope we can vote him out. I really do. Give me another type of win, please. Shit. What do you guys do they arrest? None. It didn't happen. Rico's going away for now. They'll be cutting you loose. The hell does that mean? It means the U.S. attorney doesn't have any leverage on you. Until on your dad, he's been purged. That is the only proof. But I give you the satisfaction of tearing it up. Why are you doing this? Gotta make it right. You're a criminal. You do bad shit. I'm a cop. I'll stop you. I just want to get back to that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because he was under their thumb just as much My as My office has you sent over like the, of the outstanding paperwork and the permits required by the city for your okay, review. Okay, now I claim a joke. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Associated with the 99 on-ramp to... Sorry, Your Excellence. Lincoln Potter, Assistant U.S. Attorney, San Joaquin County. What is this about, Mr. Potter? We're in the middle of a council meeting. Moral bankruptcy, sir. Jacob Hale has scraped the bottom of the barrel to fund Charming Heights. And he's dumping the sludge in your backyard. Jesus Christ, what the hell is this? The Tokyo Fund, as it's called in the mayor's proposal, is actually a single investor. The largest manufacturer of sex dolls and hardcore sex paraphernalia in the world. Including the some young boy line for the discerning pedophile. Oh, very eye opening, on. Mr. Mayor. This is bullshit. He has Jacob. no right. Let him finish. As a public servant of this district, I felt the good people of Charming needed to know the truth. Oh, he's trying to make things right. He pissed today. So he said everybody going down. <laughs> feel free to <laughs> review. On my way out. I'm going to make everything explore. right. Have a good day. Why are you doing this? Because I don't like you. And the good guys need a win. <laughs> I know that's right. Well, we are tying things up. It was a nice little bow today. Well, go me a while. I'll feel like going him. Chat up at 8 o'clock. How's he doing? He's in and out. Give me a minute with him. I'll call the guys. Tell them about church. We want to kill him so bad. You ain't gonna do it. The repercussions are too high right now. Mutually assured destruction. Oh, mutually assured destruction, brother. Save it. Oh, Devil not... awakens. <sighs> he ain't ready to go meet his maker, Satan, yet. Save it for a nice rainy day. I know, I'm disgusted too. I've been disgusted season. Oh, he go no, he gonna cut off the patch, the president's patch. I bet you, he ain't gonna just murder. Him. I don't believe it. What are you? I read the letters. <clears throat> I know you killed my father, Piney. You tried to kill Tara. Please, son, don't go on with that. The only reason I am not slicing you open right now is because I need this cartel deal to happen. And those prick Irishmen won't deal with anyone else. You gotta let me tell you how. You can't tell me a motherfucker thing. You're done telling me anything. Now I tell you, you're stepping down as president. You can sit at the table, you can have a vote. That's it. He's sick right now. You keep the Irish happy and you stay out of my goddamn way. <clears throat> if you don't, I let the club read the letters. <clears throat> and I let Opie tell everyone you murdered his old man. Okay, the letters. It doesn't matter. 
Gemma. None of your fucking business. So you can take revenge? Stay away from Tara and my mother. Do you understand? Come on. You are at Jax's mercy. Say yes. Yeah. There you go. Fuck off, Clay. You got spared today. You got a blessing. And you're getting let off very easy. Yep, cut that fucking patch off. No longer. It's a new day. You may as well kill me. Oh? You're already dead. <laughs> yeah, you piece of shit. Fuck you, Clay. Now this is justice. Served right. Death was quick. I would have preferred it. But second best option. Making him stew in his own shit that he's fucking stirred up. You can't leave me, Jackson. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. He won't hurt you again. I wouldn't say that much. Clay is very much a bitter bastard. And you really need to keep your eye on him. Because he will get back to killing people in the heels. Don't go in there. Don't nobody feel bad for your punk ass. You have made everybody's life hell. And then he dumped a duffel bag. They're living in a fucking toys. hell you created. And he just dropped him off and left. Yeah, like a freaky messenger. Now that rain, <laughs> my pop and I go out today. They called a recess on the boat. It wasn't even supposed to rain today. Yeah. Sorry, LT, but this just came in from Oakland. Lord. Run. Then why is it hitting my desk? The victim was Leroy Wayne's girlfriend. Niners were seen pursuing a guy on a motorcycle. And Game Task Force thinks it might have something to do with the Suns. The Suns getting the pass today. Oh, shit. I mean, they did do it in front of everybody. Though. Is this right? The victim was Veronica Pope. Yeah. Who's Veronica Pope? Damon Pope's daughter. Very serious player. Currently the most dangerous gangster in Oaktown. Motherfucker. I already knew a war was coming with them, so that does not surprise me. But yeah, war is coming for season five. And I hope they don't end on a cliffhanger. Not that I got to wait, but I just, please, nothing else. Let everything mellow out today. This is Suns, I know better, but. How's the rest? You are brewing a shit storm right? out there. So a bullet just went through it? Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Find anything out. Yeah. A few things. <laughs> Just a few. You were right. Clay killed your old man. Shit. You should have let me finish it. We can't kill him, Mom. Galen won't deal with me. We need to keep Clay alive to handle this cartel thing. We don't need Galindo. If I kill this Mexican alliance, the whole club suffers. I know, Opie. You can't never get no justice because of the positions we are in, but uh, I know. You just gotta be more patient. This sucks. Stay. I'm taking the gavel. And we need you as VP. I need you at my left. <laughs> be my VP. And how does that work? Clay's still around. Clay's He's a grunt. Damn near prospect. Talk club right. now. I don't get it. We'll explain it to you one day. Why are you staying? What the hell happened today? I need you to trust me. Give me a reason. They do gotta give him something. I'll tell you everything. And the club. I just gotta do it at the right time. In my book, that's lying. Hope he gonna hold you accountable. We got church in an hour. I want you there. I know you don't know how to feel. I, I know with everything he's been through with this club, the betrayals, everything. I understand his skepticism and doubt. He's been on the shit end of everything every season so i completely understand why he is having a no bullshit stance but oh this is gonna be the next hard conversation for the day Jax is making his rounds today ain't he uh he just is having a shit day i hope she don't last the CIA okay is buying this irish card i was gonna say there ain't no way to not tell her the truth they've been playing us if I kill Clay, okay. Thank you for telling the me. The Irish walk away. The deal falls apart, and the feds take us all down. Oh my God! I'm not supposed to tell anyone, Tara. 
I can't have any more secrets. Okay, baby. But she had to say right away, thank you for telling her the truth. If anybody deserved it, she did. You have to stay. Walking away from my clothes is one thing, but letting it die, I can't. It's part of me. I'm so sorry. I know you have to go. Take our boys. Go to Oregon. I'll send you all the money you need. She ain't going nowhere. Gemma taught her how to be an old lady. She'll be right by your side. I don't believe for a second she'll be there. <laughs> they both hurt. That's terrible. Everybody's hurting. Everybody. Oh, Bobby Elvis. I don't know why the fuck he got a guitar in there, but love it. She took out of the letters. I she said, Giant, get my secrets. <laughs> Rightfully deserved. Yeah. We changing the hierarchy. No, Tick. Get your ass over there. You ain't my there, brother. Uh, you ain't the sergeant at arms. You cool with that? Absolutely. Yeah. You lost your spot, Mr. War Starter. We need a total reset. Take your seats, boys. You look happy like. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm good. You got a reset. Through the hell that you didn't fucking went through, you got a reset. And don't nobody know shit, really. But shit, know a little bit. But he went through everything alone and came out by the grace of God. That was a crazy story arc, but yeah. Welcome. I hope. Court is in session. Oh. Sorry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I knew she wasn't going away. Nope. She said I needed to see it for myself. The angel and devil sitting on his shoulders, his two women. Ah, uh, she sees her and John. I don't end. I wanted to have the conversation. That's not a bad clip. Anymore. Bad cliffhanger. That was good. This episode flew by, and my mind is still blown, y'all. So they do really well with their finales, let me tell you. Cause plot twist, plot twist. Whew. So everybody accepted it. Everybody accepted it, uh, which is good. I mean, Ope. I, I completely understand if he want to walk away. He has every right to do so. He's robbed of justice every single time. I mean, most of us, I don't know if we'd have his patience. He's such a good man at heart. You know what I mean? I mean, when you get past all the criminal stuff, right? <laughs> but I mean, the true Opie that we know that cares about people, that guy, he um, he's a good man. I mean, with more patience and restraint than most of us probably have and i mean granted i mean he did try to kill clay he did they didn't care about the consequences um because but he he still stopped he can go well, ain't nothing stopping him from going to the hospital going in that room and killing him 
I mean, it, it, he calmed down. He listened to his best friend, his brother. And he said, he said, but chill out, so chill out. But I'm counting on you to make it right one day at some point. But how are we going to do this? And this is all he's asking. And Jack's like, I can't tell you, which I understand. I really do. Especially because these men, like I said, they're all alpha males. And when they have information, they like to act on it. Do what's in their best interest. And then we suffer the consequences later. We cannot have that. Jack's like, I ain't got no room for error. The only person I could trust right now is Tara. She ain't going to run her mouth. But the boys, I mean, look what Tig did with a lie. He took a lie and started a war. And then now they're talking about Veronica. I think her name was Veronica. Is the daughter of the most dangerous drug lord in Oakland. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Tig. Yeah, we can't have you as a sergeant in arms sitting next to the president. No. You put us in danger. Now Jax is the head of this thing and now a war is about to start. So that's great. And now Jax is like usually the king of diplomacy. They ain't gonna wanna talk. That's the problem. Their talking is done. Jax had talked for a long time and got everything handled out with the locals. But I mean, <sighs> Tig, don't even get me started on Tig and Clay. Now Clay got his today. He didn't die. But I mean, the worst thing that could happen to him, the thing he feared, the truth coming out, getting shoved right in his face, spat in his face, got his president's patch, ripped off. He said, you can sit at the table, but uh, you get a vote. That's it. And if you want the truth to come out, make a move, player. But he did say, you better kill me, Jackson. I ain't doing a motherfucking thing. You gonna make this deal work, and then you gonna get your ass up out of here when the time comes. But yeah, your era of fucking gruel clay is done. We are going to try to heal. We are going to try to take this club and repair the damage. And we need to pray that it's not just irreparable damage that just is beyond repair. Because, I mean, the worst thing <laughs> to me was, you know, the cartel. But now that we know that that's really a CIA thing going on, that's actually more of a relief because the cartel... You just worry that they're going to pop you off, right? So, yeah. And I'm sure it's a relief to know that, okay, Tara was never in any danger. So, like, I mean, she was because Clay could have just killed her himself. But it was like, um, if worst case scenario would happen if she got taken in that van, she'd have been just debriefed. And, but, I mean, that would have caused a whole other issue. But, I mean, there was still a consequence to that. You know what I mean? Now her hand is messed up and she might not be able to uh, be a surgeon no more. That is her livelihood. That is what she depended on. She did things the right way in life and now her gift was taken away. So it's just it's unfair. But she made her choice. She said, I'm staying here by your side. And Jim was like, that's exactly what I did. And look where I'm at now. But Jax, of course, is not like Clay. Um, and Tara is definitely no Gemma. Um, so yeah, Gemma got to figure out what she want to do in this life. I mean, her and Clay's era is truly just about done. I mean, Gemma, it might just be time to settle down and be a grandma. I, I don't know what to tell you. Y'all had y'all run and y'all played it dirty. Now, don't get me wrong. Y'all know I like Gemma. But uh, y'all did things so wrong. I, it, it just, too many people are dead and for what? I mean, it was never supposed to be a big criminal enterprise. They were supposed to be small town locals. You know what I mean? Like they, they weren't supposed to be doing all what they're doing. So we need to get past that, but we got to broker out these deals and get away from these people and try to turn this into a, a something sustainable, a brotherhood, like what it was supposed to be. Um, yeah. So that was a good close to the season. I mean, there's still more to do, of course. I don't, and I'm sure there's going to be twists and turns. We don't know how everything's going to play out. I'm sure Otto is not going to be happy because, I mean, what he thought was going to be taken down the club is not going anywhere. So much like, um, oh boy, he ain't going to feel satisfied. So, mm, but we did get uh, Mayor Hale <laughs> up out of there. So I'm sure they'll be calling for his uh, resignation. So that'd be great. Um 
what else do I have for y'all today? I mean, this was a good episode. I mean, it's, it's just leaving us a lot. Like, it's already setting up the next season, but in a way that puts a close to everything we've started this season. And, and I think they handled it very well. Um, I have no complaints. This was a damn good season. I mean, they took me on a ride. This, it was an experience for sure. Um, only for it to be a whole plot twist. I just, it's still blowing my mind what, what happened because I was expecting something way worse. Um, but I, I'm happy for Juice that he got his reset. I'm, I'm happy that um, Chibs, is, I think, is going to be the sergeant at arms. I hope Opie does come through the door in the next season and be and is the VP um, because after everything he's went through, he deserves to be um, next in line for the throne. <laughs> so... Yeah, but I guess we'll just have to see where this goes. Um, the only thing I'm predicting for next season is a war. Um, and, of course, Clay's rebellion. Um, he's, we all know he's going to start an open rebellion against Jackson, everything that's going on. But it's like, I don't know how he's going to take his revenge because he's going to have revenge. I mean, everything that the show has shown me has said that Clay is a bitter, revenge-seeking, evil bastard. And he ain't going to just take shit lying down. He's down, but not out. So I think long term, Jax needs to figure out a solution for him. Um, and maybe it's just let Opie kill him when the deal is done. But the fact that the show kept Clay alive means there's, there's something else cooking. But anyway, that's all I got, you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Of course, I want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in season five of Sons of... Thank you.